Okay, talking of educational, let's see if we can work out together what's wrong with this one. So, this is, uh, I think it's an issue with the disk drive on this. Um, almost certain it is. 99% um, sure that it just doesn't accept disks, if I remember from the ticket. But I'll double check it and make sure. So it turns on it works, but it just doesn't accept um, disks in the drive at all. It recognises that the drive is there. Wait. Oh. Okay. It's accepting disks. But it's not happy. So it's trying to load the disk up. But then it's just stopping. Yeah, it don't sound good. Oh, it sounds like it's chewing my disc up. Yeah, that's a disc drive mechanism issue. Well, I was hoping it would be a bit more interesting than that, to be honest. Yeah, it's a mechanism issue. All right. All right, then. Fairly straightforward, I guess. I was hoping it would be a bit more um, difficult. Hoping to get a bit more of a challenge, but never mind. Just make sure that the uh, HDMI outputs. Yep, there you go. Console fix that shop. You probably don't give a damn about what I've got to say, but just hear me out for a minute, all right? We all know that those sweaty little douchebags with cheesy fingers, living in the mom's basement, drinking Red Bull and simping over TikTok losers are going to break the console. And you and I both know that you're too cheap to buy off eBay, you're too impatient to wait for AliExpress and you're just about smart enough to avoid Amazon completely. You can admit it, because I'm exactly the same. That's why I started my online store, consolefix.shop. I'll sell every part you'll need to fix the Xbox One, Series S, Series X, PS4, PS5 and Nintendo Switch consoles. So why not give me the money instead of some random dude on eBay? At least if I have it, you know it's not going to waste on some stupid thing like promoted eBay listings or food for the kids or something. If you give me your money instead, I promise I'll use it on useful things like buying views on TikTok. So before you decide to go to one of the more popular sites and line the pockets of some fat cat loser, take a look at my online store. Check out the link in the video description or the top pin comment and get 10% off any order over £25 during checkout. Alright, now you can go back to watching this douchebag on YouTube trying to fix something. You can't say stuff like that in an average, dude. You're not my dad, dude. Don't tell me what to do. That's what you think, Phil. Wait, what? Uh, right, okay. Yeah, so I thought it'd be a bit more interesting, but... You know, a job's a job, a repair's a repair. Uh, yeah, this does need a good dust out, but not really concerned about that until I sort the disk drive issue, because, well, if I can't fix it, I don't charge. And if I'm not charging, I'm not cleaning it either. I'll only uh, take it apart and clean it if, if, I, if I'm actually going to make money from the actual repair. Otherwise... No. <laughs> to put it simply. Uh, no, let's forget about that for now. Right. So, I'll pop the rest of the console to one side. And we're just going to have a look at the disk drive for now. We're just going to have a look at the disk drive. Not going to use an electric screwdriver for this though. I don't want to destroy the thing. Chances are we're just going to end up replacing this disk drive. It sounds like the mechanism might be a bit knackered and also the laser as well. So it's a lot faster and a lot easier to just replace the disk drive. But I've got to open it up anyway because I've got to be able to get to the daughter board that's in here. So one's already been inside this disk drive. Someone's already been messing. So they might have made it worse. So I know someone's been inside here because the sticker was damaged. So, so the daughterboard itself is working and I know that the 
main board is working because it is trying to load the disc it's just obviously it's not great it's uh, making some rather concerning noises Damn it, drop one of the screws inside. It's fine. It is fine. Yeah, so it's probably uh it's probably the uh the motor itself so actually i do remember on this i do recall a customer saying he thinks it's the motor controller that's failed on this that is very very unlikely the fact that it's actually trying to spin up uh the motor controller is likely good so the motor controller is that there that chip just there uh, so this here is the motor controller and this is what handles decryption on the drive um, that one can't be replaced that one can but it's very unlikely to be that because as you heard it is actually trying to spin up so what I'm going to do is rather than fucking around with the daughter board and risk damaging that I'm just going to replace the drive and try that and just see if replacing the entire drive solves the issue it's probably easier to do that. Here's one I made earlier. Right, is that the same drive? Yes. First revision. So yeah, just to rule it out, you know, just to rule out whether it's a disk drive or not, as in the motor on that, I'll just replace the entire drive. I'm not going to replace just the laser deck because, well, it's going to cost the customer the same either way, because the laser desk, the laser deck is the disk drive, really. You know, I've never once had anyone come and ask me for just a shell for a disk drive. So, if you come to it where it is the disk drive itself, then I'll just replace the entire drive. It's just cheaper. Well, it's just easier. It's faster. It's had a switch game in the disk drive. Jesus. <laughs> I've had coins and stuff in drives. Uh, it's just too powerful for these screws. These screws are like butter. Um, I wouldn't recommend using these. Um, by the way, that's the sticker I was talking about that was damaged on the other one. This here. So, if I try and open this now, obviously it's not going to open because the sticker's there stopping it. Well, if that one was damaged, which means someone's already messed inside here. Which means someone's already probably had a look at the laser and stuff. Right. One thing I will mention with this. And something I see people do all the time is they take this ribbon here and they'll plug it in because of the way the ribbon's folded like that they'll plug it in and they'll assume that it goes like this so is it straight like that wrong it's meant to be folded I actually sold one of these ones and I had a customer complained to me going absolutely mental opened a uh, dispute on ebay and everything because it was the wrong drive because the like the ribbon sits in a different way uh, sits in a different way and i was like no mate it doesn't look at your connector the pins are on this side so it's pretty obvious like the pins are going to meet up with these gold contacts here so it's pretty obvious that it's designed for the ribbon to be twisted round so as this blue tab is closer to these connectors so you twist it round plug it in and that is how it sits with the blue tab 
on this side. Just for the record, because I've seen it way too many times. People have either complained and I've actually had someone send one in to me saying they've replaced the disk drive and now it's not working at all, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, yeah, because you put the ribbon backwards. And now you've got to pay me a bench fee just to turn that ribbon around because I've had to take your console apart. I've genuinely had someone come and complain. Just look at the uh, look at the pins and you'll see which way it has to go. Same as this one. The tab goes towards the back on this small ribbon here. Tab towards the back. It's not difficult. It is not difficult. But it is a very common mistake. By the way, this destroy is not damaged, that's just liquid metal. This console, well, this drive is out of another console that I couldn't fix, one that I bought off a customer recently. I wouldn't say they're idiots, but I have had, a, I've had people actually uh, open disputes on eBay over it saying I've sold them the wrong drive. Well, no, mate, it's meant to sit backwards. Like, come on. Look, you can clearly see that if you research the models, there's two different models to the uh, EDM01 and 020 boards. And if you research it, you'll see this is the correct model, mate. I've actually had someone someone once as well try and send a, a disk drive back because I didn't include the daughter board. I was like, mate, my daughter board's not good to you. <laughs> Look, I had someone open a dispute trying to get a refund because there was no daughter board included. I was just like, mate, come on. If you're gonna if you're gonna replace it, at least research it first, please. Like you don't replace the disk drive daughter board. You put your original daughter board in. But I haven't got the daughter board, I threw it away. Well that's not my problem mate. Sorry, but your console's now fucked because you've thrown it away. Like, genuinely, someone's genuinely thrown one away before and said, oh, but I've thrown it away, so how am I meant to get it working? Well, you can't, because it's paired to the freaking um, console. You, you can't replace it, mate. I'm sorry. Right. Anyway, enough moaning about disk drives and stuff. Let's just give this a test and see if it now wants to read a disk. Shall we? I like to do that noise. <laughs> Alright, we don't get that scary noise when I first turn it on now. That, woo! As it's trying to suck a disc in that don't exist. There you go. It wasn't your motor controller, mate. There is a healthy disk drive. There is a healthy disk drive. Easy! It wasn't your motor controller, mate. It was your disk drive. Right, that belongs with that board over there. Whoops, now it's on the floor. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there's a healthy disk drive. So, yeah, the issue with this is going to be the actual motor itself it's going to be this thing here so the laser itself is probably fine so I can probably reuse that and I can probably refurbish this drive by replacing the motor but yeah for the sake of uh, the amount of time that it would actually take to do that I'd be charging the same as what it would cost to actually replace the disk drive anyway so it's quite a pointless I might as well just replace the drive and save myself some time. Because otherwise I've got to charge labour on actually servicing the drive and replacing the parts that are faulty. Figuring out what's faulty in it and stuff. It's most likely going to be the um, the motor. You know, the motor itself. But unfortunately for the customer, this does mean that he's going to have a new disk drive. But like I said, by the time I've covered the cost of parts, my time to actually replace old components and all of that, you're paying the same as you would for a disk drive anyway. 
So, yeah, let's just test it, make sure it's actually reading the disc. Make sure that we don't have any issues with that. Uh, I've got this controller here, which I actually bought along with that one and a couple of Nintendo Wii's and some other random crap off a scrap man. I don't know if they work. Now's as good a time as ever to test this one and see if it does. It turns on and sinks. Ah, oh, it's got stick drift. Yeah. Oh no, that it's sticking up. I don't know if that's the analog glass doing that or or what. Hmm. But yeah, it's reading a disc anyway. Can't do anything because it's sticking. No wonder it got chucked out. I'll have to buy some analogs and fix that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's reading a disc anyway. That's the main thing. So, let's deject that. There you go. Yeah, it picks up uh, GTA 5. So, that will do. I'm happy with that. But, uh, yeah, another easy job. Um, I'll give everything a clean. Obviously, I'll clean this disk drive and stuff like that tomorrow. But... I'll just do it in the morning before I speak to the customer. Yeah, there we go.